Joining me now is Lloyd Longfield, newly reelected as member of parliament for Guelph. Congratulations on your win. Thanks for joining me. Well, thanks, Neil. And that sounds good. Newly reelected. I guess that means <laughs> I've got to get back to work. Back to Ottawa for you. And there's quite the list of priorities, everything from childcare, green jobs, affordable housing. It's really all over. Is there anything that stands out to you as a priority? It's like a conversation that you rejoin. Where did we leave off? Uh, mental health is a big issue in Guelph. And uh, with the new Grove Center setting up, uh, that's one of the first priorities that I'll be working on is uh, helping to coordinate some of the things around the mental health, mental health services. Uh, the uh, rebuilding of the local businesses, some, some businesses were hit particularly hard and uh, helping them uh, get back on their feet. Uh, we've got uh, several programs there that we'll be working on coordinating. And then climate change, working on the, uh, the net zero acceleration funding and some of the businesses around working on that. So I see a lot of this as... Uh, also continuing work I had at the Chamber of Commerce of bringing businesses into some of the conversations that we'll be having. And uh, yeah, but as you said, there are a lot of things on the go and uh, a lot uh, on the road ahead. Uh, returning with a minority government again, is there anything you learned last time around in minority rule that you might be able to apply this time? Uh, great question, Neil. I Some of the things I learned, I, I wasn't thrilled about learning. Uh, I thought that we were all going to get along better. Um, there was a lot of obstruction going on that I hope we're not going to see this time around. There are a lot of serious issues that we have to work on with the pandemic as, and as well as climate change that aren't waiting around for politicians to get along with each other. So I hope this time around um, we have a little bit better cooperation in the House. In terms of the campaign, there was a lot of that um, sort of vitriol on the campaign trail, even physical attacks. How do you sort of govern when you've seen this sort of divide in Canadian politics? I think you, you have to look at really the source of some of that uh, frustration and uh, looking at people that are feeling left out or marginalized or not included in some of the conversations or in the recovery and uh, trying to reach out to people that um, need, uh, need some, extra, some extra care and attention. Um, I think empathy goes a long way, and uh, that's uh, it's hard to do when people are throwing rocks at you. Uh, but I think the the prime minister was was showing that you know, we have to lead with empathy. There is a line that you can't, you know, you you, you have to step back from, as well to say uh, you it's it's not it's not okay to to put other people in danger, and uh, it's not okay for you to. Um, go ahead with your agenda at the expense of other people, uh, other people's health and safety. Working across the different levels of government is always, um, you know, very important for yeah. all three levels to work together. So where do you see opportunities there? Uh, locally, we've, we're very fortunate. Uh, Cam and Mike and I get along really well. Uh, we're in constant contact with each other. And uh, I think we are focused on the community and what we can do from our different perspectives and, and responsibilities to help uh, help Guelph uh, to succeed. Um, the provincial government isn't always as cooperative. And uh, although I have heard, seen some signals that they're interested in daycare, which is something I wasn't expecting. Um, I thought that was going to be uh, down the road, uh, but uh, it would be great to see Ontario pick up on on their their side of daycare, which is the delivery of services. And what we do have lots of local organizations worked in, working in uh, in daycare, and I would be working with them through the Community Foundation, the United Way, um, ways that we can fund uh, some of the programming directly. But really, uh, we need the province to be at the table. So hopefully, that's going to happen. And are there any things you see as a priority for Guelph that maybe aren't as big priorities nationally, but that you want to focus on here in the community? Well, Guelph has a um, real issue around housing, uh, housing availability. Uh, we've been working on the uh, support of housing, on the, you know, helping people get from homelessness into some type of housing or shelter. Um, but there's also the first time home buyers that are really getting slammed. 
and uh, we need to look at ways of of helping uh, create supply for people as well as deliver further supports for people that are trying to get into their first home. I know it's early. Do you have any thoughts on how you start to go about that? Yeah, I think there's there's an opportunity that we discussed during the campaign around uh, going with electronic permitting, helping City Hall to speed up the approval process to get uh, houses built in Guelph. Uh, I, I would love to reach out to the mayor and city council to see where those opportunities are, where maybe there's vacant properties that we can help to move along. I know we've, uh, we've, we've talked about several vac vacant properties in, in Guelph, including the reformatory lands that are owned by the province. Um, how do we start to advance those projects that can create more housing in Guelph? And uh, I know we all want to do it, uh, but each of us has a different piece of the puzzle that we need to try and fit together. Well, what was the highlight of the campaign for you uh, as you were out there? A highlight for me is always the, the volunteers. Um, and every, every campaign, there are certain volunteers that really stand out. And uh, I'm hesitating to start naming them because then you leave people out. But uh, the way that the community engages um, the volunteers step forward and and uh, and help out with with just the process of of democracy, regardless of party. Uh, but a highlight for me was seeing volunteers coming out. I, I wondered whether we were going to have trouble because of the pandemic, but we all wore masks and and we all, you know, social distance. Uh, and and at the doors, we took four steps back from the door to give space for the person answering the door. Um, but the volunteers showed up just uh, just as as they always do. So that was that was a, a real pleasant surprise for me. Well, thanks so much for joining me here today, and congratulations on another election victory. Thanks, Neil. It's great talking to you, and I look forward to more conversations together.